Hey, do you know Kim's video? Excuse me. A lot yeah, of things used to be here and they're gone. Nobody rents videos anymore. Do you know Kim's video? I do. Were you a, a, a customer? I was. And what, how was it? Wow. I'm stepping into the gold mine of cool. They had things that didn't exist that never had come out. I miss it so much. We were actively cultivating rare films. We would watch these guys in suits clear out rows and rows of VHS tapes. About a week or so later, Mr. Kim would come into the store and they would replenish the entire row with all new bootlegs. Mr. Kim issued a public announcement. So let me promise to digitize the entire collection. How could anybody think sending this entire thing to another country made more sense than NYU's? I don't, I don't speak English. <laughs> Had no one else shared that with you? That's really weird. It's the thing. It's the promise. We knew we'd never see it again. Probably was gonna just disappear. Where are we going? I, I don't know. I didn't know what we were getting into. This is where people go to get murdered. Well, don't forget. Okay, the only. <laughs> it seemed like we could do something beautiful with this beautiful collection, and we didn't. I didn't really know who we were working with. I am the local chief of police. We said film knowledge matters more than ownership over movies. It was a fact. There was a part of me that felt like, is this for real? I turned to fiction movies to learn how to execute a heist. La mafia a Salemi non esiste.